OK, so this week Donald Trump romped through New York, even though he was a little off his game. How's Joe Paterno? Well, Joe Paterno is dead. We're going to bring that back. And he ain't coming back, even if he did mean the statue. What else you got? First good move was getting Rex to coach the team. You know, he won championships in New York, AFC, I think twice. Nope, Rex Ryan never won a championship. Try again. I was down there, and I watched our police and our firemen down in 7-Eleven. We've all seen police at 7-Eleven, but that's not what he meant. Down the World Trade Center right after it came down. So here's my theory. Maybe Donald Trump is a little rattled and preoccupied after he discovered who will serve as his loyal delegates. We serve at your pleasure. After all his troubles on the road to the White House, Trump basically got those sneaky guys from Game of Thrones. I was grievously sorry to hear of your troubles on the King's Road. See, when Trump won all those delegates, he was just getting abstract numbers. He needs to fill those delegate slots with diehard supporters, so they'll go to the convention and vote for him. And that's where he appears to have hit a snag. The fix is in. They are going to, we're going to lose a brokered convention because they're picking people who are not for Trump. They already told us they're going to sell out, flip. They are not for Trump. See, voters don't pick the delegates. Local parties do. And based on what some of the delegates have already said, Trump may have been played because Republican bosses may have planted his pool of delegates with rats. There's a bonus involved. So what do I do? I'll basically serve as a Trump delegate, even though you don't like him. Vote for Trump on the first ballot because the rules say you have to. Then after it deadlocks, vote against him until you take him down even if it plunges the party into the pit of chaos. And you know what that really sneaky guy in Game of Thrones would say about that. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. But in this real life Game of Thrones, the party elite may be too clever by half because the more Trump rips the system. It's a fix. The more he makes it a game of us versus them. It's a rigged, disgusting, dirty system. It's a dirty system. And while he's bleeding delegates in convention maneuvers and maybe picking up some delegates who are not fully loyal, he's driving up his support in big states like New York, which we just saw, Pennsylvania and California, where he could still clinch the nomination before it even heads to a convention. I hope it doesn't involve violence, and I don't think it will. But I will say this, it's a rigged system, it's a crooked system. Mm -hmm. And if he comes up short and still feels cheated, you know what he may do with that loyalty oath to the GOP. A piece of paper.